Great. How are you doing? You doing okay? Not good. No. As good as can be expected, I guess. Huh? I feel like I'm gonna puke. I'm trying to sound like her ex-boyfriend. Yes. He was killed back on June the 4th. And we have a lot of evidence to kind of put her there. And she's not willing to explain any of it. She won't talk to me. And I talked to her. And she told me she was going to Utah. And then um, she came back. And she was fine. And she, in fact, she says, I spent a lot of time with some friends in Utah. And I wanted to stay there because they were going four-wheeling. But I had to come back and work. So uh, how could somebody that you say she did this come back and just be a normal? I don't know. I and Jody really doesn't. Don't. Jody has mental problems. Jody would freak out all the time. I, I had quite a few of her friends call me and tell me that I needed to get her some help. In fact, I had one call me in the middle of the night and tell me that she needed help. Jody would call me. We don't have a good relationship, me and Jody. There you go, Mark. She was freaking out in the middle of the night and she needed help. The, pa the friends were reaching out to the parents. They were concerned about her. This is part of the unraveling of Jody Arias that ended up in her acting out murderously. And here's her own mom saying, how could somebody be like that and seem so normal after they just killed somebody? Her own mom.